everybody, it's Chris, and I wanted to walk through one of the common problems we're seeing folks have once they get to the Bayemoji class. So the first thing, I think most people have caught this, but in the instructions, uh, we, we mentioned there's a slight typo in the source code. The way that you install problem set two, the get shape method is lacking in the S, so you need to add this S to make it plural, get shapes, as the method name. Once you do that, you can try running the program, and what we see is a big, scary error message from Eclipse. The way we start parsing this and trying to get to the bottom of where is this error coming from is we look up until we get to the first caused by from the bottom and we see that it's caused by a null pointer exception. And we know we've talked about a null pointer exception and the null pointer exception happens when we try to use an instance that hasn't been constructed yet. So here we're trying to, we're in the get shapes method, we're adding a bunch of uh, instance variables which should be constructed instances we should actually have a real mouth that we're adding to our container and nose and so on. But we've never initialized these instance variables. We've never constructed new instances of the I class, the mouth class, the nose class, and assigned those new instances to these variables. And so if we remember what the point of the constructor is, the point of the constructor is to initialize all of your instance variables, all of the components that make up your class. And we haven't done that here. If you want an example for how to initialize instance variables, you might want to take a look at the archery class if you haven't yet. And so the archery class is just like Baymoji, where we have some instance variables. And in the constructor of archery, we actually do initialize these instance variables. And we do it in a slightly different way from how we do it in Baymoji, uh, because the constructors of the classes that we're using here are different. But the idea is exactly the same. We need to initialize all of our components, all of the properties of our class, before we can use them later on in methods of the class. And remember the constructor is what runs first, and this is where we initialize our components. As you're working on adding your, uh, adding the initialization of these variables, one thing you might do is comment out the references you make that we made in this source code, uh, in, the, in the support code, to these classes. And so you can start by first initialize your face shape in Baymoji, try running that. And I don't think I have anything, but I can try it. And notice we chose a different variable name of the instance variable from the class. This is just to prove that we don't, it doesn't actually matter. These don't have to be one to one. And in fact, when, when you get to eyes, you'll see that we need to name them differently anyway. We go and run this, and we're going to get uh, just a crappy head shape that I've made. And that's added to our Baymoji class, and we can start working with that. And so your task is to continue initializing your other instance variables, add them to your container, and then translate, scale, and or rotate these to place them on your face. And when you're done with that, you'll have a working emoji.